everyone, so I'm doing a mermaid look today. I'm starting with a face with foundation already on and I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Cucumber and I'm kind of sketching out a contour section. I already did half of my face, you know, to figure out what I wanted to do before the video, but um, I'm just kind of going around my hairline pretty thickly and sketching this in. This is also very important because it gives you a base color for your shadows to stick to. Then I'm taking the Inglot Freedom Sister no System number 345, which is kind of like a deep mint color, and it shows up a little different over this jumbo pencil, and I'm just um, shading it in. I don't care if any of the lime green sticks out, but I'm just covering it up. Next I'm taking the Urban Decay Vice Palette and I'm taking the navy color, it's called Madness and it's really metallic and I'm blending this in around the edges. Um, I really made sure it did fade out, it's kind of hard to tell because it's a little far away but it definitely, that's why I keep going back and forth, it's like blending it. And then on the cheekbone I did it down the center more than on the edge of the green. I also have a green line on my jawline that you can't really see, sorry about that. Then I'm taking the Naked Cosmetics Ivory Stack, and these are just like a sheer color that has a tint to it. So I'm taking the greener color, you could also use the blue one, and blending the edges of the green out. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person it really made a nice reflective color that faded into your skin. Then I'm taking the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Base and the Lit Cosmetics Glitter in Mint and I'm just kind of staggering this around on the green areas of my face. Now for the eyes, I'm taking the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and just applying this. It's very important to prime your eyes, otherwise your eyeshadow is going to crease throughout the night. Then with the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, I'm taking Madness, which is the blue again, and I'm filling in my eyebrows. I'm just kind of doing my normal shape. I'm watching One Tree Hill, so don't mind me looking to the side. <laughs> then again, I'm taking the Lit Cosmetics Glitter Base and the Glitter in Elton John number 3. And this is just a bright blue, and I didn't make my eyebrows super opaque with the glitter, but I got it all over <clears throat> my eyebrow, you know, enough. I didn't get the shadow, a picture of the shadow, but this is just another Inglot shade and I'm just kind of doing a heavier brow bone highlight. Then again, I'm going to take the Vice 2 palette in Damaged, which is the deep green right below the blue one we were using, and I'm just going to pat this all over my lid all the way up right before the crease. Now I'm taking the NARS Andy Warhol palette and I'm using that teal color. It didn't have a specific name, but it's just a glittery teal. And I'm using this on an angled brush to blend out the green. And I want this kind of going up 
into my brow bone a bit. I'm making it very big and eccentric. And I know this seems like a lot of palettes, but you can use whatever you have. You don't have to use all these same exact palettes. One Tree Hill is getting intense. Then I'm just repeating the same green and turquoise colors under my eye. I made this really big, almost like a mask kind of idea, but um, just the same blending and make sure you get it into your inner corner also. Then again, with the ivory stack, I'm taking the same green color and blending out the edges of the teal. And this makes sure it doesn't really have a sharp edge anymore and it gives a nice reflection. Now I'm taking the mint julep eyeshadow stick and a Rimmel navy stick and you could take any two coordinated colors like this but I'm just kind of like making crisscrosses with both of them real messy it didn't have to be precise so I did the mint green first and then I'm taking I did some on my neck and then on the other side some jawline um, just to make sure I have some scales and then I'm just taking the navy and kind of like messily going over the lines I already made with the green to give it a scale effect. I think this really helps bring the mermaid effect in also. Then I'm taking the same green um, glitter and I'm using this as a liner and I'm also going to line the bottom rim with the glitter too. Now I'm taking the NYX Eye Pencil in Electric Blue, and I'm using this as a lip liner, and I know it's a little out of the screenshot, but um, you can use blue or green or any color you think would be appropriate. Next time I'm definitely not going to watch One Tree Hill. I just like, forgot to turn it off, um, and I was really into it that day. I watched like 20 episodes, so... Um, but anyway, electric blue on your lips, and this really gives you an under the sea kind of feeling. I'm also making the line a little thicker. I'm not really filling in my lips, but I'm kind of making it a thicker line so that it blends into what I am going to be doing. Then I'm taking this random green jumbo pencil, but you could definitely use the cucumber one from before, but this one's metallic, and running this on the inside of my lips, well like the centers, and then just rub your lips together to blend it together. Then I'm taking eyelashes, and I didn't have a shot, so here they are. They were just, um, I picked them up at Walmart from the Halloween section and put them on, they're huge. Then I'm taking the NYX glitter and kind of just dotting this around on my face just to add some more texture going on and um, I didn't do this on a clean skin just on the basically green areas around the edges of your forehead. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this and it's pretty easy to do. Thanks for watching. Bye.